If you're uh, just starting to learn the banjo, a beginner banjo player, uh, this video is not to show you how to play the banjo, it's to show you a wonderful little aid uh, that I've used before, uh, even when I traveled using motels, a way to mute the banjo so other people can stand for us to learn to play, okay? And it's very simple, but I just wanted you to hear the difference and, and see how easily you can uh, do such a thing yourself. Let's see if I, I've got this just in an open G. I'm going to do a little claw hammer style here and just let you hear the difference. somewhere maybe and you just slip them on the bridge open them up squeeze them onto the bridge don't let them touch the strings above the bridge don't let them touch the strings if you can and try to keep them off of the head of the banjo also so just slide them on in the middle there and listen to the difference between that loud playing and yet you can still hear it and it's, uh, it's kind of a pretty sound almost a dulcimer sound Oops, got that vibrating too much, so. What a difference, huh? And I got those a little bit. Uh, vibrating. Let me take that off now. You may be learning bluegrass style, which is even louder on a banjo. So we'll put some picks on. And I can't play all this perfect. I'll make mistakes. I'm just uh, mainly trying to show you muting a banjo and how nice it is. You can still learn and play and enjoy it that way. on, put the clothes pins on, and that was pretty loud with the picks. See what you think. I can get them off the strings. They're usually not that hard to set. Maybe with picks on your fingers it's harder. Turn that one over. Try to get your clothes pins pretty smooth. And it doesn't have to be anything super fancy. Clothes pins. Your friends will enjoy that. <laughs> 